gonna try out Orange Theory Fitness. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Merry Christmas Eve Eve. I just woke up from a little bit of a nap, went Christmas shopping this morning, and I spontaneously decided that I'm gonna try out Orange Theory Fitness. So, I say it's spontaneous, but I've been watching videos for the past week, and this fitness class looks so intense. Like, I'm legit worried I'm gonna pass out or throw up because I'm so out of shape. And the more videos that I watch, the more nervous I get, the more I'm gonna psych myself out. So we just need to suck it up and go. We just need to go, bite the bullet. The first class is gonna be the scariest, then we'll be fine. So it's 3.15, the class is at 4.30, and I'm not able to actually sign up for my free class because the app isn't working for me. It won't let me sign up. I may call them ahead of time, but first let's get our workout clothes on, at least it look like we know what we're doing. All right, you guys, I put on my fancy workout gear to make it look legit. I'm extremely nervous. So if you clicked on this video because you're also in the research phase of Orange Theory and you're wanting to check it out and you're wanting to kind of see what it's about, I was in that phase too. I probably still am. I may check it out and I even get No, we're going to go. We're going to go. We got the camera out. It's official. We're going to go today. Let me call the place and see if they can fit me in since the app isn't working. <laughs> It's almost 3.30. They want you to get there 30 minutes before the class when it's your first time. And my gym is almost 30 minutes away. It's about 20 something minutes, which is not convenient. My heart is racing. This is embarrassing. Lucy, how can I help you? Hi, I was wanting to see if you could put me in the 4.30 for my first class. Yeah, um, could you be here around four o'clock? Okay, yeah, um, I tried to sign up on the app, you know, and be all official, but it won't let me for some reason. <laughs> So. All right, I have added you into the 4.30 class. So like I said, just be here about 30 minutes early and we'll go over some paperwork with you and then give you a tour of the studio and then you'll be good to go. Okay, thanks so much. Yeah, no problem, thank you. <laughs> Bye. All right, guys, it's official. I've signed up. There are people depending on me to be there at four o'clock. <laughs> Hydrating. I can't go in there with this Starbucks cup. This looks too bougie and not fitnessy. All right, we got the Dasani. This makes it look like I work out so often that I don't even have time to wash my reusable fitness water bottles. So we had to get the plastic out of the refrigerator. Also, this shirt shows sweat extremely easily. And I'm actually purposely wearing that because like I said, I'm worried I'm gonna like pass out. So maybe if I'm sweating profusely, the trainer will back off on pushing me. <laughs> also, if you guys saw my last video of my expenses for the whole year 2021, I told you guys I never go shopping ever and I'm super cheap and I thrift everything. Well, I went Christmas shopping today with my sister and we were at Dick's Sporting Goods and this jacket, can we just, I mean, it's beautiful. Guess how much I paid for it. Y'all are not gonna, I can't even believe me. I am shook. Y'all, I paid full price for this. Never have I ever. $60. Literally, I have never bought a jacket. More than about 30 bucks. This was double. Y'all, look at this, it is so cute. And it's short because as we know, fashion today, everything's cropped for some reason. And y'all, it has like this teddy bear fuzz on the entire inside, like super fuzzy. And maybe a little too warm. Hey Siri, what's the temperature outside? It's 55 degrees right now. It is not cold enough for this. It's also reversible. So maybe we should wear it on the reverse side because it's really not that cold. So that's fuzzy on the outside. Yeah, y'all, I'm gonna wear this to this workout class. It looks legit. I mean, I don't wanna look too legit. I don't want them to expect me to be able to run five miles when we're on a treadmill station. All right, guys, we gotta go to this class. So this is my gym bag, AKA my kickboxing and rock climbing bag. So we don't need my rock climbing harness or my shoes or my boxing gloves. So I'm gonna throw my water in here and then I have to bring my inhaler because your girl's got asthma. I'm legit worried I'm gonna pass out of this class. We're gonna need my purse. You guys, I am so nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have had the Orange Theory Fitness app downloaded on my phone for over a year. <laughs> I've been trying to talk myself into trying out this class for over a year. And today's the day, guys. We're, we're going. We're on the way right now. We're going. You should not be drinking coffee when you're about to work out. Oh my gosh. I need to be hydrating, not caffeinating. Also, if you're a subscriber, I am still without my SUV. I have been in this 2007 Focus for almost two months now. Is that not ridiculous? Honda has kidnapped my car. I'm convinced I'm never gonna see it again. All right, guys, I feel like I'm literally gonna throw up. I am so nervous. You can't see it, but it's this building right here. 
the last workout class that I almost died in, like I literally was concerned about my heart, was Cycle Bar. We don't have Soul Cycle here, but I went to a Cycle Bar class and literally almost died. And I've heard this is more intense. So, hey guys. <laughs> All right, it's 3.53. I feel like I'm about to poop myself too. TMI, but. Also, I've never been to a workout class that was a full hour long. Like that's a long time. I'm here to test it out for all you guys. And if you're out there in the research phase, you're watching all these videos before you start, don't do that. That's what I did and I psyched myself out. Just go to the class, try it out for yourself. I hope I don't like literally die in here or throw up and then have to tell you guys that in the video because then nobody's gonna wanna go to this class. So I hope it's genuinely a good class. I'm gonna be vlogging some on my phone, hopefully. I don't wanna be that noob that's like first time there and then I'm like filming the whole thing. So I don't wanna be a weirdo, but I just wanna give you guys an idea. All right guys, I'm gonna go in. Ah! I survived the class and I, sorry I look so orange literally the Sun went down while I was in there I feel like I was gone for like two days like that was the longest it is six o'clock and what I went in at four that's crazy okay yeah I was in there for two hours all right guys sorry for this abrupt transition it's now been six days since my workout I was telling you guys about how my first class went in the car after that class but I was in a rush to get to my parents' house for Christmas. It was getting dark and my thoughts were just all over the place. I was very overwhelmed with the whole experience. So now that it's been almost a week, I can talk about it more clearly. So yeah, I really enjoyed the class. That was my first workout class that I've ever done that I was actually excited to go back after I left. And that's a big statement right there. I've honestly never enjoyed working out. I've always hated it, but I've always been proud of myself for going, but like hating myself during the workout. I don't know if that's normal, but this is the first time that I've just really enjoyed it. So I guess I really felt the endorphins or whatever it is that goes on when you're working out because it was really fun. And it was an entire hour and I was in there for two hours in my first class because of the tour beforehand and then talking to the fitness instructor afterwards. So yeah, the class I went to had two groups and a lot of the Orange Theory classes have three groups. So you have a treadmill station and then you have a rowing station which is really cool because it's real water like they have this water tank so you're pulling with the tension of like a real rowing machine and you learn how to row they tell you your whole form the fitness instructor so it's really cool that was my favorite machine there my favorite little workout part and then you have floor exercises and that could be a plethora of things there are a million different things you can do with the floor exercises my class lifted weights and we did some hit workouts some mount mountain climbers whatever they're called uh, but they have all kinds of stuff hanging on the wall different things you can use for that station so since mine was two groups the rowing and the floor exercises were kind of in the same group we just kept going back and forth and then the treadmill section was a whole 30 minutes so half the class was spent on the treadmill and I started out in the rower and I think all new people start out in the rower so that was really cool just because it was new to me and it was also just fun I really enjoyed the rower also having a fitness instructor in the class was unique for me I've never had a personal trainer I've never shared fitness goals with anybody before but they're really wanting to help you achieve your fitness goals. So I don't really personally have any. I just want to be more in shape. I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm not trying to look any type of way. I just physically want to be stronger, especially since yesterday is my parents' wedding anniversary. My sister and I cooked a nice dinner for them and it was in a cast iron skillet. So as I pulled the skillet out of the oven to put it on top of the stove, my arm gave out and I spilled the food all over the kitchen. So your girl needs to be working on her biceps. Okay. So that's what I shared with the fitness instructor was just, I want to be more in shape. And so they're helping you achieve your fitness goals. And they also are there as a resource throughout the whole class to help you work on different form. If you need to modify any workout, like if you have bad knees, then there's modifiers available. There's TV screens that show you exactly what form, like when you're lifting the weights. I've never lifted weights before, so I really had no idea what I was doing. So I was thankful that she was able to show me to prevent injury and hurting myself. And I really liked her a lot like my the trainer that I had in my first class was really great and I hope to go to more for classes in the future 
because she was awesome. Another cool thing about Orange Theory is every class in the whole world at the same time has the same exact workout. So like my best friend up in Cincinnati, Amy, she's wanting to join. She just had her first Orange Theory class yesterday, her first free class. So if we go to the same class time at the same day, especially since we're both in Eastern time zone, then we'll have the same exact workout in two different gyms in two different states. And that's so cool. Our other friend Julian in Charlotte, North Carolina is thinking about joining Orange Theory too. So if he joins, we've got all three like have the same workout, which is awesome. So Orange Theories theory is that you i guess burn the most calories burn the most fat your metabolism increases when your heart is in the orange or red heart rate zones for however extended amount of time so you get splash points every minute that your heart rate is in the orange or red zones and that was a whole new concept for me i've really never monitored my heart rate so seeing my heart rate on the giant tv screen in the class it has every single person in the class and then what color their heart rate's at what which zone and then when you're on the treadmill I mean your screen's like this big showing you the heart rate color that you have so mine went from like green to orange to red to orange to green as we were like speeding up and pushing ourselves and going all out but then slowing it down and walking and resting and so that was really cool to watch it was kind of like a competitive feel and then after the class they email you all your stats in the app you can like see how many minutes you did whatever thing how many how many minutes were spent in each heart rate zone how many calories you burned all the things so that's really cool just to keep track of and i'm sure at the end of the year they probably have like how many calories you burnt in the whole year or however many classes you've gone to or whatever so that is really cool and i really liked the switching stations throughout the class i liked that a lot i think it kept my mind occupied as far as like, okay, we're only doing this th for three more minutes, or we're only doing this for a minute, and then we're switching, or we're slowing down, and it keeps you less focused on how intense you're working out, because I left that class soaked in sweat, and I wore a shirt, like I told you guys, that was like purposely gonna show sweat so I didn't get pushed, and I was drenched, my whole back was soaked, and I really didn't feel, I mean, I was working out, and I knew I was working out, but I didn't feel 100% exhausted. I just, I did a good workout and I felt great about it. And that's the first time that that's been experienced for me. So I can't brag about this enough. Now that was just my first class. I've only gone to one so far. So did I join the Orange Theory? Yes, I did. I went ahead and signed up. I told them to start my membership until January 1st. So sign me up. The rest of America and the millions of people get a gym membership at the start of the new year. I wanted to do it on the first just to keep it easy since I bought the Elite Package, which is eight classes a month, which is about two classes a week and you can move them around you can have five classes in one week and then you'll have three for the rest of the month but they do not roll over so you just got to make sure you use your classes and you do have to sign up for them ahead of time in the app and they fill up quick and this is just December and I can already see the waiting list for like every day in the classes so you got to sign up ahead of time and you can drop the classes at my gym um, up to eight hours before the class and you won't lose the class credit but if you have to cancel it last minute then you lose the class credit even though you didn't go to the class so yeah because it is so expensive but $110 a month literally makes me want to poop myself thinking about it. I think it'll make me go. I am excited for it. But it also means that I don't really foresee myself doing Orange Theory for the long term, like for months and months and months. I really just want to invest in myself now in the spring when my schedule is more open with work and my social life. It's pretty much a dead period in the spring for me. So I have a whole lot more time. So I'm wanting to spend that time to get into shape. Also to learn how to use exercise equipment to get my form down and just learn everything as I can and then probably cancel my membership go to a normal gym that costs normal money that's my personal plan I also just left REI today my grandma helped me buy a nice pair of shoes for myself so I got the new Brooks Ghost 14 model they are so pretty I have never spent more than 50 bucks on a pair of shoes in my life and these bad boys were $140 again it makes me want to poop myself that's a lot of money but I've heard great things about the Brooks I haven't really heard any complaints at all. So those will be good, a good investment in myself. And also at Orange Theory, in order to compete with the heart rate zones and do all that fun stuff and be in the app with all the heart stuff, you have to buy the heart rate monitor. You have to buy their heart rate monitor. Now she did mention something about the latest Apple Watch because the new Apple Watch has the heart rate zone so you can bring your Apple Watch instead, but I don't have an Apple Watch. So I would have to buy the Orange Theory heart rate monitor and that thing is $120. <laughs> so I did not buy that. 
that. I'm going to instead be renting my heart rate monitor. So it's $5 a class if you just want to rent one. Although it's really smarter if you know you're gonna be there for several months to go ahead and buy one. But just right now, this is just so much money at once. So I'm gonna be renting my monitor, just being transparent and open with you guys. There's nothing wrong with that. So yeah, you guys, I'm excited to try out Orange Theory and get my butt back into shape because it's been a while. Your girl is flabby, you know what I mean? I'm excited to start this new journey and just sharing it with you guys will help hold me accountable. And I may be doing updates, maybe one month of Orange Theory, three months of Orange Theory or whatever. So I'm excited for that coming up. And if I really get into the routine of things and I plan to go more than twice a week, then I may upgrade to the unlimited package, which is even more money. We'll stay tuned for that. I was pretty sore after my first class. It wasn't to the point where I like couldn't walk, which is normally how it is after I leave my first kickboxing class. First time in a while, I literally cannot walk the next day. So I still got around okay, but like I was hurting in weird places. I've never used a rowing machine. So my shoulder blades or whatever muscle that is was hurting pretty bad. And also like the top of my thigh, like whatever bone, I mean, I don't know if it's like the side of my butt muscle, if it's literally my thigh muscle, but the sides were super sore. And I don't know what that was from. We did squats and we did like lifting weight twist things. So I don't know what it was, but anyway, that was a weird soreness that I've never experienced. Also my calves were burning from all the power walking on the treadmill. I did not run or jog in the treadmill. I power walked the whole time and the power walkers have to be at a steeper incline. So I was like climbing up a mountain for literally 30 minutes of the class. So my calves were burning. But anyways, you guys, I'm excited about this new journey and just getting fit. It's something I'm, I, really, I really need right now. So I need to get these arms back into shape. So that's the goal, 2022. I'll keep you guys posted how everything goes. Thanks for tuning in with me, y'all. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.